Hello and welcome to Clothing Store Financial Model Template. This tool returns the feasibility of your clothing store once the necessary assumptions are given. The template is constructed of three parts. These are model inputs, repo outputs and the dashboard. Let's start with the dashboard. Start with the model configuration. Choose your projection period that you would like to do your analysis from the drop-down menu. Once you choose your projection period, the years and trends will be automatically set according to your choice. Determine your sales trends for each year. If you don't have any sales trends presumptions, you can delete this and the template will set the sales trend as 100%. Determine your start date by inputting your date in day, month and year format. Type down your currency, type in your income tax rate and discounting rate. The discount rate will be used to find the present value of future cash inflows. If you're not sure what to input, you may type down your bank saving deposit rate. Lastly. You may hide the instructions once you get familiar with the template by choosing Hide in the drop-down menu. And let's get a clear view, let's hide it for now. Later, on the Product Properties, enter your category name, Unit Price, Profit Percentage, Credit Period, Inventory Days and Shrinkage and Allowance Percentage. It is also important to indicate whether the product is seasonal inventory or not. The product's inventory settings will be adjusted according to that. Once you get familiar with the template, you may click on the clear data button to, to erase all the dummy data in the template. So let's start with the sales and inventory. The product names you entered on the dashboard can be chosen in this section. For example, choose your product. Once you type in, you will be able to see the price per piece. Enter your daily average sale presumption. And once you do that, you will be able to see the daily revenue of that category. Your product demand may get affected by seasons. For example, let's say you expect a diminish in a demand in summer by 20%. So all you have to do is input 80 for the summer months. If you have no estimation, you may leave it blank. You may also have seasonal discounts in each month. You can set the discount percentage for each product for each month in this section. Let's say we're making a 10% discount in summer months. You may get additional rows in this template by clicking on the plus sign button. Please remember to input only white cells. The non-white cells, such as these, are formulated and should not be intervened. Sales forecast pieces shows the sold amount of units for each month. Sales revenue forecast table shows your monthly revenues depending on the period and the rate. Inventory disposal shows the sum of the sold and disposed products due to shrinkage. On the cost of sales forecast, you may see the sum of cost of goods sold each month. It is the same logic with the period and rate. Merchandise inventory forecast calculates the amount of your stored products for each month. Merchandise Inventory at Cost Forecast calculates the total cost of your stored product for each month. Merchandise Purchase Cost Forecast 
calculates the amount of products you purchased during that month. Merchandise purchase cost forecast calculates the value of the products you, you purchase during that month. And lastly, payments to suppliers forecast calculates the price you have to pay to your suppliers depending on the days of credit you determine on the dashboard for each month. On the fixed costs, list your stuff by title or name, their salary and number of employees for each month. On this table, list your other fixed monthly expenses per month. You may dynamically set the salary evolution from this cell. All you have to do is choose the increase frequency and the rate. While this table shows the salary costs for each title, the table under it shows the total salaries to be paid in that month. On the startup costs, list down the expenditures which are made before opening your clothing store and input their equivalent cost. The account section is optional to edit and to analyze the costs for each group in the outputs. On the miscellaneous section, input your equity and loans if you have any. Equity contribution is the money you, you contribute to the business. Equity repayment is the initial investment that you withdraw from the business. A debt issuance is the money you borrow from banks or other lenders. Debt repayment is the money you repay to the lenders. And interest paid is the repayment of the interest of the borrowed money to the lender. In the fixed asset subsection, enter amounts of money you're going to reinvest in your business during the course of operation except initial spendings that you enter in the startup cost section. In this section you can enter as well expected amounts of depreciation and amortization. Once you complete inputting you will be able to display the profit and cash flow table below. The data source is the sheet that contains all your given matched inputs. This sheet is used while constructing the reports in model outputs. We do not recommend you to edit this sheet. Now we may look into the model outputs. Let's start with the monthly financial statements. Once you complete inputting your data, press the Update Reports button to refresh the pivot table. If you change anything on the data, please do not forget to update the reports. This section shows the monthly income statement, balance sheet and cash flow statement of your store. On the yearly financial statements, you may see the yearly income statement, balance sheet and cash flow statement of your store. On profit section shows you the process between your sales revenue to your earnings before interest and taxes and adds depreciation and amortization to find the EBITDA for each month. On break-even analysis, it shows the cumulative profit from the very beginning to the end of your projection period with data and shows profit below. The real purpose of this report is to figure out when could the cumulative profit and all the costs equalize each other. Gross profit breakdown will show you the revenue and costs of goods sold for each product. Gross profit report will illustrate your gross profit breakdown report and indicate the gross profit percentage for each product. You may set the time frames from the filters to see the results of a specific time range, such as On the NPV IRR calculator, you will see the graph of the cumulative net discounted cash flow for each quarter. You may also see the net present value and internal rate of return of this clothing store below. 
Revenue Details Report shows the monthly quantity, average price, and amount of each product. Account Payable Report will indicate the purchase and payment values for each product in that particular month. And lastly, on Inventory Balances at Cost, it will be showing you the units and running balances for each product for each month. You may see the total units and running balances of all products below. Thanks for watching and don't forget to check our other templates at www.someka.net.